We scurried down an animal trail on the side of the path, and Yamazaki-san and I ran through an unpaved road. We quickly brushed aside scattered branches and ignored the various cuts we received from them. That gunshot just now. I thought that getting to Yoto Castle meant we were safe, that we'd be able to see Hijikata-san and the other men and regroup to fight again. However, all I could feel now was despair. Only the warmth of Yamazaki-san's hand could give me comfort, as I'd forced myself to run, even as I felt my legs want to collapse from tiredness. Itazo! As soon as we'd gotten into a more exposed area, two soldiers armed with rifles found us. Guns were far more savage than a sword, requiring only the pull of a trigger than to take someone's life. As our guns were pointed towards us, I thought about how delicately our lives held in the balance. I don't know what came first. The sound of the gunshots firing, or the feeling of being pushed out of the way. Yamazaki-san? <laughs> Yamazaki-san threw his kunai with all of his might, and it landed right on the hearts of the Satsuma men. But I didn't care about that at all. Yamazaki, are you okay? Why did you... I lifted Yamazaki's body to see a pool of blood beginning to form around his thighs. With tears in my eyes, I put pressure on his wound and he looked at me crying. I didn't care one bit about my safety. All that mattered to me was that he was hurt. Why? Why would you try and protect me? You should know, Yamazaki-san. If my organs are safe, then my injuries will heal. If you had just left me be, you wouldn't have been hurt! So, that's right. If you think about it, it would be better for me. If I were But then... Yamazaki-san softly patted my head, gazing into my puffy eyes, and he smiled brightly. Forgive me, Yukimura-kun. あたまでは分かっていても体が君を守ろうと勝手に動いたんだ効率がいいからそのまま君に怪我をしてもらう君を盾にしてその隙に敵を倒す俺はそんなことまっぴらごめんだ I felt a sickening mixture of gratitude and guilt and more than either of those, I'd felt a sense of warmth well inside of me. I'm so sorry for doing this to you. Thank you so much. My words landed somewhat on both ends of the spectrum, and Yamazaki-san gave a troubled laugh. <laughs> こうなった以上戦闘は厳しい。この後どうやって敵の包囲を突破するか。ふん。ブザマだな。その傷ではもはやその娘を守り切ることは叶うまい。番犬の役目すら果たすとは、俺の見込み違いだったということか。カズマ
Get away from Yamazaki! Yamazaki's son swung with low, with slow, painful slashes, but Kazuma exerted no effort to dodge them. He swiped at my leg and I fell to the ground as the wind was knocked out of me. <coughs> I was gasping for air, struggling to catch a breath as Kazuma glared menacingly above me. Then Kazuma grabbed Yamazaki and grinned. He sunk his fingers into Yamazaki-san's bullet wound and began to twist it in the bloody flesh. もう一度言ってみるかい。もっともそのざまでまともに口が聞ければだがな。Stop it! Stop it! I could hear Yamazaki-san's flesh tearing, and his screams of agony were unbearable. Just then. Kazamachikage! He's here! He has arrived! Holy shit! I forgot this part. Following a, defend a deafening clash of swords, I could hear a familiar voice come from nowhere. Is Shigata-san? Yamazaki, Yukimura, Mujika. I'm fine, but Yamazaki... Hijikatsu-san's veins practically popped out of his arm from how tightly he gripped his katana, and he swung once more. <laughs> Kazuma parried with ease. Avoiding Hijikata-san's strike as he smirked tauntingly. どうやら逃げ惑う最中に大分激しく戦ってきたと見える。全身に走る無数の浅い傷。刀の古いすぎで筋肉は断裂。肋骨にもひびが入ったようだな。もはや刀を振るうことすら苦痛だろう。he was right. Hijikata-san had been tirelessly fighting enemy soldiers storming the Vishimi Magistrate. And knowing him, he was doing all he could during the retreat to ensure his men's safety. I don't know how he could have had any strength left to walk, let alone fight someone like Kazuma. Hijikata-san, please, fall back! There's nothing we can do right now. We have to find a way out of here. だそうだが、貴様より小娘の方が状況を把握しているようだぞ。打つ手がない。そうとも限らねえさ。Then his cut son reached into his pocket and my heart dropped as he pulled out a vial. The minute I saw it, I panicked. I watched the red liquid slosh back and forth. It was... Ichigata's son curled his lip as he smirked, opening the bottle with one hand. Just then... <laughs> Through the darkness, I saw a hand sharply chop into Hijikata's son's neck from behind him. Holy shit. Yamazaki! Yamazaki... Yam... Yamazaki-san, why did you do that? Yamazaki-san appeared, looking over Hijikata-san, who had fallen to the floor. Then he picked up the bottle that should really be ground, damn it. 
His eyes were silent, filled with resolve. なんの真似だ、構造。の。人間として生きられぬ。人間として死ねぬ。貴様という人間は強いと消える。その呪われた体と共に闇の中で孤独に死ぬことと removed the cloth covering his mouth. Hidden underneath his cloth was a grin. The back cloth flooded into the wind as he put the vial to his lips and swallowed down the water of life in one gulp. そんな過去、遠い昔に決めている。たとえこの身が闇に落ちようと、俺には守るべきものがある。果たすべき使命がある。His hair turned white as the winter snow, and his eyes morphed into a blood red shade. As he transformed into something that was no longer human, Yamazaki-san screamed out. その風の力ならば、この身を闇に沈めても惜しくはない。俺の覚悟を侮るな。風間近げ。よく吠えた虫けらが。Yamazaki-san screamed as he charged for Kazuma, and the ground he'd left from shattered into a cracked circle, and he vanished from my sight. My eyes couldn't keep up with him. His powers were clearly beyond his human selves. Kazuma kicked the floor out of rage. Then he bounced off a tree trunk to leap into the air like a raging storm brewing above. They exchanged blows, their blades bellowing like thunder over a matter of seconds. I felt like I was watching a dance of lightning as their swords collided, and it took my breath away. <sighs> Amazing. まさかここまでとは。Just as Cosma had said, 
Namazaki san fought with a speed and technique unlike any fury I've ever seen. With every strike, he was pushing his muscles to the point his veins would pop from his, from his flesh and even burst into a blood splatter. But he continued. He relied on his healing powers as a fury, guiding him to fight with more and more vigor. Yamazaki san fight, fought like this could be his last. The mood of the battle intensified greatly. I wanted him to stop, but I knew he couldn't. I was aware of the determination that brought him to drink the water of life in the first place. あと Kazuma's hair suddenly lost all color, and horns began to show up from his forehead. In the moment that his appearance changed, the air became still, and the temperature dropped. Perhaps it was my own demon blood reacting to the change, but I could sense his aura in my chest. My hair stood. This was bad news. A chill slunk down my spine, and I screamed out as, as loudly as I could at Yamazaki-san. Yamazaki-san, get away! Kazuma is- Oh, sorry. As Yamazaki-san tried to jump away, Kazuma seemed to have forecasted his movements, swinging his sword in the direction of which Yamazaki-san was going. However, the eerie sound of flesh being sliced ne open never came as I expected it to. What came into sight was the outline of a blurry man in front of me. Of a blur- Oh, I read that wrong. What came into sight was the outline of a burly man in front of me. Oh! I'm a... Giddy? What are you doing here? Amagiri, Kisama, do you tsumori da? Do you tsumori? To. Naze ore no jama o shita to kiite iru. Kisama kara koro sare taku naku ga. Ima sugu soko o doke. Oyo shinasai.私を切るのは構いませんが。たかが人間に鬼としての姿を見せるなど。風間家の名に傷がつきますよ。なんだと。それとも西の鬼を滑る棟梁は力を解放しなければ人間一人切れませんか。見えすいた挑発を。だがいいだろう、アマギリ。今回は貴様の顔を立ててやる。そうしていただけるとありがたい。新選組の一部が近づいていますからね。彼らを叩くのは絶やすいですが。やはり人間を打倒するのは人間でなければ困る。Kazuma clicked his tongue, sighing, and slowly he directed his glare at us. 今日のところは見逃してやるが、貴様ら幕府型はもはや死にたいだ。That's not true. The shogunate is just. 嘘だと思うなら。
After his little jeer, Kazuma left with Amagiri, vanishing into the wintry darkness. I'd waited for a second to make sure they were actually gone, and I crumpled to the floor. We're... we're safe now. Ishigata-san, you're awake! Ishigata-san's brows furrowed and he looked towards Yamazaki-san. After a moment, Yamazaki-san began to fall as he'd exerted all of his energy in the fight. I ran to catch his body. Yamazaki-san, are you okay? あ、すまない。この馬鹿野郎が Hijikata-san, please understand where Yamazaki-san's coming from. I hugged Yamazaki-san's body tightly. I used my arms to gauge if there was still warmth in his body, even after becoming a fury. Yamazaki-san told us. He told us he wanted the power to resist fate. Even if he had to succumb to the darkness, he wished to protect the Shinsengumi. After hearing how important it was to him, I couldn't stop him from drinking the water of life. Yamazaki-san chose this. He chose the path that he is on now, that he is now going down. Ijikata-san began to choke up. He looked like he wanted to speak, but he didn't. Hey, Miro! There's no one there! It's Hey! Are you alive? Nagagura and Harada! A wave of relief came to me upon seeing our friends running over to us. I let out a big sigh. I'd helped lift Yamazaki-san since he passed out. And hope flickered in my heart. Final chapter time. I recall the fall of the magistrate, our escape from the Satsuma, and our fight with the demon. After a long wait, we'd reach Osaka Castle. Unfortunately, we were welcomed with news that I would have deemed impossible a day ago. Lord Yashinobu had fled the war for Edo. When word got to Hijikata-san, he went berserk. In fact, he became almost inconsolable. None of the warriors, what was left of those who were able to retreat to Osaka Castle, made any attempts to stop Hijikata-san from his tirades, either. I mean, I couldn't really blame Hijikata-san. The Supreme Commander was arguably the most important man in, Shogunate, in the Shogunate army, and he'd given up. Considering that many men des desperately fought his war for him, and he'd run off, it must have felt- uh, it must have left a bitter taste in their mouths. The Shinsengumi, too, suffered a great loss in the death of Inoue, so the anxiety amongst our ranks was heavy. Regardless, the fleeing of Lord Yoshinobu was inexcusable to the men at the castle. Seeing Hijikata-san's pride and determination on the battlefield was proof that strong leadership was crucial to the success of their army. Lord Yoshinobu, however, showed no such pride. When the warriors discovered the loss of... Eh. When the warriors discovered the loss of faith from their leader, the dejection pervade, pervaded what had remained of this failed campaign. 
So the Shinsengumi and what was left of the Shogunate army prepared to leave for Edo. The ship rose and fell atop the gentle rhythm of the ocean's waves. I sat beside Yamazaki-san, who slept soundly in his cabin aboard the ship headed for Edo. Yamazaki-san. He might have pushed himself too far in his fight against Kazuma. Ever since that day... Yamazaki-san had been unconscious. I held his hand tightly, and even though he was asleep, I was rewarded with his warmth. Yamazaki-san's steady pulse gave me hope, and I closed my eyes to pray for his well-being. Some time had passed since leaving Osaka. If I were to see the view from the deck, I don't think I'd see it Osaka or Kyo anymore. Wow. Four years have passed so quickly. It was funny to think how much had changed since I'd first arrived in Kyo. I'd arrived with the intent of finding my father, and by chance I was captured by the Shinsengumi. Afterwards, I become acquainted with Yamazaki-san, who served as my guard. His watch became even more frequent when we discovered Kazuma and his demons' cohorts plotted to kidnap me. Thinking back on it, the person I remembered protecting me all this time was... Yamazaki-san. Even during the war... Yamazaki-san had given everything to watch out for me, even willing to throw his body away. I gripped his hand tightly again. Emotions I kept secret for so long began to bubble to the surface. What if... What if Yamazaki-san never wakes up? I... His warm hands moved to stroke my hair softly. Yamasaki-san! My head shot up instantly. Yamasaki-san! You're awake? Ah. Zuibun to nangai aida nemutte ita yo da. Yamazaki-san lifted his head tenderly, glancing around the room. <laughs> you see... そうか。俺が寝ている間にそんなことになっていたんだな。after I explained all that had happened to Yamazaki-san, he let out a big sigh. Then he tightened and loosened his hand into a fist repeatedly. Ah, uh, so... How do you feel? That's... <laughs> <laughs> Yamazaki-san's eyes thinned after he thought about what he said, and I thought about saying nothing. But I couldn't keep my thoughts to myself, and I asked him a question timidly. Ano, Yamazaki-san. Do you regret drinking the water of life? Yamazaki-san's 
君は俺が落ち水を飲むとき止めようとしなかった君の性格なら止めそうなものなのにそれはどうしてだ<笑> You stared at me intently and I sighed So I quietly told him how I felt How could I have stopped you? I could see what was going through your mind when you drank it. Besides, when you drank the water of life, a thought came to me. Ketsui? <sighs> I thought to myself that if someone were to become a fury out of a desire to protect the Shinsengumi and gave up a world with light, Then I would stand beside them. No matter how dark your world may be, I'll be right beside you. <coughs> Yamazaki san was at a loss for words, instead, turning to hide the blush in his cheeks. For a while, his mouth was agape, opening and closing. Yamazaki san turned away and muttered. 君は卑怯だ Excuse me? 何でもないそれより最初の質問だ落ち水を飲んだことを後悔しているかという話だが Yamazaki san's Yamazaki san laughed quietly And he looked directly into my eyes. もう君の言葉で後悔はなくなった。あ、does that mean? つまりはそういうことだ。Yamazaki san softly took my hand. He gazed at it, perhaps soaking in the moment. たとえ行く先が闇の中でも君と一緒な